What's going on, Ghost Squad? Trey here with Ghost Tactical here at the range today. It's a beautiful day, and we're going to do some testing on the NC Star Vism Strike Face. Now, this is the soft body armor. This is level three alpha. Now, what that basically means is that it's going to be pistol caliber 44 Magnum and below. This is going to fit in to this plate carrier right here. We've got our good friend Bob. So Bob is going to uh, go through the testing with us. Before we get going on shooting, let's go through some specs of the Vism Strike Face. So what we're using today is the Vism Ballistic Soft Panel in 10 by 12 inches. It is the STR's cut. It's constructed of ultra high molecular weight polythylene, creating a lightweight ballistic panel. It is rated level 3 alpha, which is capable of stopping 44 mag, 357 sig, and below. The flexible design allows a panel to conform to various shapes. It's ideal for use in body armor carriers, backpacks, laptop cases, luggage, whatever. It's fully sealed to protect against liquids, chemicals, and other harsh elements. It's ideal for the Vism plate carriers, but like I said, you can use it in whatever plate carrier that you might have. The one that we're using is a 10 inch by 12 inch, but it's also available in 8 by 10 and 11 by 14 cuts. It's available in the STR cut that we're using or just a normal rectangular cut. The weight is under one pound at 0.95 pounds and it is made in the USA. Now, once again, guys, this is not a plate. This is a ballistic panel that goes inside this carrier here. And it is not going to be level three, which is going to get you 5.56, five, 7.62 six, six, and all that. But it is going to get the pistol calibers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some different types of ammo, whether it's full metal jacket, hollow point, different calibers. And we're going to see what this thing does to protect you. All right, so we put a lot of different rounds through here, a lot of different calibers, and we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what it's like. I can already tell that it is definitely in a different shape than it started out. So this ballistic panel and all that. What we're gonna look at is all in here, you see a bunch of different holes, but when you come up here, the only penetration and exit hole is right there. Now, if I kind of go and put that in there, I can see back here as well is there's one little exit right there. That being said, that hole is right there on the shoulder. So it, I don't even think that it actually hit any of uh, the panel itself. I think it just went through the bag. That being said, um, we're going to open this up and look at it. But as you can tell, there are some exits back here as far as being ripped, but nothing back here so it did not get through the vest so we're going to open this up and kind of take a look and see where it goes well as we cut the bag open here in the panel you're going to notice that a few of the projectiles were caught inside the bag but as we tear this from layer to layer you're going to notice a lot of mushroom projectiles a lot of deformed projectiles but all of them stay within the first eight layers of the panel and didn't even reach the lower or the back two-thirds of it so we shot 357 sig we shot 40 we shot nine we shot a lot of rounds through this thing obviously it is somewhat deformed but as far as saving your life, I was very pleasantly surprised at how well this thing held up. A lot of these projectiles are stuck in the first few layers. As you can see, like we're going to go through all of them here, pull them all out. But once again, I was skeptical on the soft armor on how it was going to perform. This is my first time really working with soft armor and, and testing it out. So I was very, very surprised and very happy with the results. Now, obviously, this is going to hurt if you get shot with one of these things. It's going to, to probably bruise you, going to knock the wind out of you. The concussion of the impact is going to hurt. But the projectile itself, so far, what we shot at 21 feet, 
none of them penetrated through the the panel or the carrier which would strike the body at all so that being said i am very happy with this and i would say this utilize this because it can save your life so guys as you can see through this the nc star vism level three alpha ballistic panel this is soft armor it it really did it, it it did its job once again this is not going to protect you from rifle calibers or anything like that but if you're looking to do something that uh, will protect you will save your life against a pistol a handgun of any kind this has proven that for the price Man, this is really gonna get it done. You know, for 150 bucks or so retail, you'll be able to get the carrier and the panel. For 150 bucks to save your life, it's really not that bad. And what I like about it is lightweight. If you're at LEO or you like to do a lot of training, you can move around in it. It's real soft and it's real lightweight, real modular to where you can move around in it and it's not gonna bulk you down like a plate would. Obviously, it's not gonna give you the same protection as a level three. Uh, plate wood but for what it is and for the price it is like i said guys you can't beat what you're gonna get we went through here it went through eight layers of this the back half is completely untouched you guys saw when we pulled out the the bullets out there a lot of them mushroom a lot of them were deformed they went through uh the first couple of layers but they were stopped after eight layers of this and all of this is untouched so yeah, well done for MC Star, the Vism 3, Level 3 Alpha Ballistic Panel and their carrier. Good to go by my book. So guys, go check them out. And I want to send a quick shout out to our friend Brad Miller at Back Road Optics and Tactical. Brad's a good friend. He sells the Vism soft armor amongst a lot of other things at his shop in Searcy, Arkansas. So if you're around the central Arkansas area or if you're looking for an FFL that handles a lot of this stuff, check out my friend Brad Miller at Back Road Optics and Tactical. You can call him, visit him on Facebook or email at backroadoptics at gmail.com. Until next time, guys, Simplify.